Then the lack of rain has affected many people throughout West Virginia, including crop and plant production. From that alone, it's safe to wonder how the drought is affecting things on a smaller scale, including our pollinators. 12 News' Jalen Lamp wondered just that and has the details for us now. Honeybees are really important insects because we utilize them uh, for their pollination services that allow us to produce uh, the crops that we all enjoy at our table every day, at least you know one third of our uh, food product. Apart from that, honeybees are a window into our natural ecosystem and our other native insect species. Uh, we can infer that if our honeybees aren't doing so well, there's a reason for that and it's likely affecting other insects in the area. Native pollinators include more than 2,000 bee species as well as others that you may not expect, like wasps, moths, beetles, and even bats. With the current drought, native pollinators are struggling for food resources, which is why you may find a few species a little more aggressive than normal. High temperatures and water stress can affect the quality and amount of pollen, and just like humans, pollinators can get frustrated when their meals aren't fulfilling. Pollinators are what we would consider a keystone species. Um, they're very small and you would think that they are, are rather insignificant, but really they're what's holding up uh, all, all of life. They affect our air quality, they affect our water quality, they affect our plant quality. Pollinators are in touch with every aspect of, of human life. So without pollinator life, we don't have human life. Through observation of the honeybee, it has been found that with the lack of proper nutrition and quality food sources, honeybees will starve despite the amount of helping hands within the colony. From that, it is safe to assume that other pollinators may also do the same. However, there are ways to assist pollinators in the heat, such as setting up water stations around your yard, or even creating a designated area in your yard as a pollinator area, leaving it untreated and untouched. Though they're small, they are mighty, and a good piece of advice to help out would be... You have to think your own personal actions as the same. Every time you spray pesticides, every time you spill the trash, or dedicate a portion of your lawn to wildlife habitat and food, it makes a really big difference, especially if we all you know, continue to share and kind of have an overall goal of keeping a healthy environment and making sure we're doing what's best for all of us. Reporting from Morgantown for 12 News, I'm Jalen Lamp.